Okay, everyone, I am going to show you how you can use Lightroom to make a white background on your, let's say, your studio portraits if you're really looking for a white background, or for your editorials, fashion spreads, or, you know, e-commerce. You don't need Photoshop for this. Amazing. All you need is Lightroom, Adobe Lightroom. So I'm going to show you the steps. Okay, so first of all, I have the updated Lightroom. No, we're going to go to help about Lightroom Classic just to see that it is the newest version. It's the 11.4 release camera raw 14.4 version. Okay, and it is June 29th, 2022. So I have the updated version. All right, first things first, when I'm editing an image just like this, I shot in a studio with a softbox. It had been a seven foot softbox. Um, I could tell you right now my settings weren't perfect. There was actually something on the ceiling blocking the light, so it causes the shadow on her face. Um, as you can see, it's on camera left because the shadow is coming down to the right, so you can see where the light is hitting. Now, I'm gonna fix this image. Thank goodness for my Nikon Z6 II having an incredible dynamic range, so I'm gonna be able to fix this image beautifully. I do have a uh, preset I use, the Shameless Studio preset right here on the image. You can see before and after how that image looks, so it's not really affecting the color at all. It's just adding a little bit more softness to the skin and um, the brightness of the whites. And you can play with the white balance here or any of the tones um, where it won't really affect the preset, but more of like the overall image exposure. First things first here, I'm going to fix her, um, but see if I add the uh, exposure too high up, it affects the brightness of the middle of her. So I'm gonna stop right there. Next steps, what I'm gonna do is select the masking tool. This is gonna be your best friend for everything here when it comes to photo editing in Lightroom. I'm gonna do the select subject tool. The AI is incredible nowadays. So it's on Lightroom and it's gonna select her perfectly, I bet. Yep, perfect. Now, if there's something I want to remove in this masking, I'm going to show you. And that is basically where the bottom half, where all the brightness is. I'm going to remove that in the mask real quick. But first, I wanna show you guys, I'm going to um, really pay attention to where I want her to look, uh, her shadows being brought up. So first of all, I'm just gonna exposure just a little bit don't even focus on what's happening down here okay because we're going to remove that mask anyway um, i'm going to bring up the shadows i think that's pretty good and just bring down the highlights slightly okay now with this mask there's a minus option here i'm going to use the brush tool and hitting the backwards bracket on your keyboard next to the letter p i'm going to break the brush larger I can play with the flow and the densities, so I'm gonna just bring that flow up. The feather, you could see if you want it really sharp, or really, I do like a big feather. It looks more natural to me. And just remove where you don't need that mask being affecting the other parts of the the body okay because it's an e-commerce shoot the focus on the shoot really is the outfit right so if I want to play with for example let's let's play with let's remove more of that mask here sorry I'm uh, getting a little scatterbrained so let me just slow down a bit Okay, so I'm gonna, I think to me that looks a pretty even. Now what I wanna try and do, I can come back and play with this later again, but now what I wanna kinda do is uh, make the background white. So I'm gonna add another mask. I'm going to select the subject once again, and then I'm going to invert it. And what I have to do is just click here, right click, invert mask two. And what I'm doing is just bringing it real, um, the exposure all the way up. That's how, if I was gonna make this like a stock photo, maybe I'll do something like that, and not stock photo, but 
you know, having that white PNG and just having the subject be almost like a, a smart object, you could do that. But I'm just going to make it usable for the website. So I'm going to bring up shadows. Okay, keep the highlights down. You're just going to play with this tool until you like it. Maybe I like it about here. Like that. Play with this a bit. But I don't want the, the bottom half first. So what I'm going to do is just subtract from mask again with the brush. That's too much. So let me control Z, um, you know, as in undo. Do that brush again. But let's play with the density being lower, the flow being lower. And I'm going to bring back some of that, okay? All right, now for the upper half, I'm not happy with that. Like her face, I'm going to brighten it up a bit. So again, what I'm going to do, I'm actually going to use a radial gradient masking and just go over her face here. And you can see that it's red here, so it's going to show you what's being affected on the red area. I'm going to bring up the exposure, the highlights on her face a bit, but not too much. Let's go to like 17. And just to see what you did, just click done. I think I'm pretty happy with this, but I can do something else with the masking tool. I can bring in a linear gradient. So come in up top like this. So you can see what's being affected. You can also play around with this option, moving it. Um, or with the red dot, seeing how much is being affected. I think I want to do like around here. Let's bring the shadows down. Oh my gosh, it's way better now way better now for example you see some wrinkles down here you use the spot removal tool uh, i like some feather opacity always at 100 and i'm just gonna go over the areas that i want to remove and pick an area to copy and paste basically you can switch back and forth between clone and heal to see what you prefer in this case i want heal and then i am going to just tap different areas that i want to remove wrinkles from I think I'm pretty happy with that. Click done. Great. I think I'm pretty happy with that. So let's see the before and after clicking this Y and Y option down here. What a difference that makes to update, uh, upgrading your e-commerce fashion uh, photo shoots if you want that white, clean type of background. Enjoy uh, your photo next photo shoot. I hope this comes easy peasy for you when it comes editing in Lightroom. Uh, if you need another tutorial on learning other Lightroom tips and tricks or even Photoshop, please drop a comment below. I look forward to uh, following you guys on Instagram. So please, you know, send me a DM on Instagram and I'll follow you back if you've watched this video. Uh, and uh, happy shooting, guys. I think uh, my rant is over and you got what you needed. Okay. Bye.